This video will show you how to remove dangerous carbonized rubber deposits from the landing zone of your runways by applying AeroGreen Runway Rubber Remover, followed by broom agitation, a thorough rinse with water, and a final sweep with a magnet. The end result is the micro and macro texture in the landing zone is improved, allowing for better friction on the runway. With the rubber removed and the friction restored, the runway is safe for landing aircraft. Before starting the process, you need to prepare the runway. Run sweepers back and forth across the runway at high RPM in the opposite direction of where the airplanes land to remove any debris and score the surface of the runway before applying the cleaner. On sunny, hot days, the water truck should make a complete pass over the runway to pre-wet and cool down the surface. Apply AeroGreen Runway Rubber Remover using applicator vehicles such as an agricultural sprayer or de-icing equipment. Apply the product in simple alternate passes from side to side of the center line at 7 miles per hour. Continue until the runway surface is completely saturated and all of the AeroGreen product has been dispensed. Brooming should begin no sooner than 30 minutes after application. This dwell time allows AeroGreen to penetrate into the rubber built up on the surface. Begin agitation with a broom angled towards the center line. After the first pass, continue to make circles each time, widening the circle by one half the width of the broom until the entire area has been agitated. When using more than one broom, the second or third broom will follow the lead vehicle in tandem, with the brooms all facing the center line for cleaning. Upon completion of the circles in one direction, from inside out, turn around and backtrack your previous circles, moving from the outside in, with the broom angled outward. Restart the circles from inside out, then outside in, until you complete the agitation process. The bristles of the broom perform best when placing the tips in contact with the pavement surface, not the side of the bristles. It is important to place just enough pressure, but not too much. Rinse the runway in a circular pattern, starting at one side of the center line with the brooms angled away from the center line to push the rinse water to the shoulders of the runway. Run water trucks rinsing from the crown towards the outer edge. Continue this circular pattern until the center line is rinsed clean, approximately three passes. Once the center line is rinsed clean, the circles should start being enlarged by one half of the broom width making sure the area rinses clean as you go. Using a sweeper with non-metallic bristles and a pickup magnet, sweep the cleaning operation area with a regenerative air sweeper. This will pick up any metal bristles or fod left behind. The final step is to rinse the equipment with a pressure washer to remove AeroGreen and the rubber residue on the equipment. Using AeroGreen Runway Rubber Remover with runway sweepers to clean built up rubber from the landing zone of your runways is convenient, efficient, and environmentally sound. The result? A rubber-free runway, safe for landing aircraft.